Hi friends, welcome to the YouTube channel Manohar Papasani. In this video, we are going to discuss about dynamic initialization of values. You know what I mean by dynamic initialization? Accepting values from keyboard at runtime. That is what we call dynamic initialization. So, are you ready for this? So, let's start with that. <coughs> so, we can input values from keyboard by using scanner you understand this now scanner is a class available in java dot util dot star package <coughs> Shall I do this now? Under that? Yeah. So, dear friends, what is that? We have a scanner class to input value from keyboard. And scanner class is available in each package. And to input each type of value, one method is available in scanner class. Built in methods. And your job is you should know how to use them. That's all. Let us quickly understand what methods are available in scanner class to initialize these values. Are you ready for this now? So let me just figure out all the primitives first. Byte, short, int, long, float, double. And then what is that? A boolean. And then finally, string. Even for string, we have a method to input. So now we have to input all the different types. Maybe you can ask me a question, sir, what about char? Unfortunately, we don't have any direct method to input char from keyboard. First, you should read it as a string and then you should convert to char. I'll talk more on this little later. But these are the all the different data types which generally we use in programming. And to input each type of value, one method is available in scanner class. Suppose I want to input a byte. The method here is a public void, public byte, return type is byte. Next byte, what byte? Next byte. Means all these methods will have a prefix next. If it is byte, next byte. If it is short, next short. If it is long, next long. And each method will return a value of its type. If next byte, it returns byte. Next short, it returns short. Next int returns a int. Next long returns long. I think I taught this in methods topic. If a method is returning a value, then you should store that in some variable. That is very important. Whatever the value input from keyboard, these values will, these methods will read that value and return that. And you should initialize that to a local variable or some variable. So what should you do? Again for short, you have one more method. What is that? Public void. I'm sorry. Public short. Next short. Public short. Next short. short. And again, what is that? Public int. Next int. And then long. Public long. Next long. And then float, public float, next float. And then double, public double, next double. In this way, for each type of data, you have one method, my dear friends. So dear friends, these are the methods. These are the primitives what we have, or the data types what we have. And for to input each data type, we have one method available in scanner. To input byte, we have next byte, which returns a byte value. To input short, we have next short, which returns short value. To input int, we have next int, which returns int value. To input long, it, we have next long. In this way, for each type, we have one method. Maybe for string, we have two methods, next and next line. Next will input accept only one word or one token. Next line will accept a group of tokens. So means a line of tokens, it will accept a line of tokens. 
but here this will accept only one token and if you put any space then it just ignores the rest of the input so you should for this you should give input without any spaces because after space the next word will be treated as say another word so that's why it accepts only one token it accepts line of tokens that is difference between next and next line do you understand this friends for clarity on this now are you ready to just do a small program how to input values from keyboard using any one of these methods why don't we just take a small example to input an integer are you ready for this ladies and gentlemen yes. so why don't we do this now so let's do a quick program just take a eclipse open eclipse remove this don't worry about the class name here just only focus on how to input value from keyboard just declare one integer int a now i want to initialize this value from keyboard but before that you should use scanner class scanner is a built in class you know i taught this very clearly if any class is there with instance methods then we can access those instance methods only by creating object for the class so now if you want to call any on any of one of these methods or any of these methods like next in next port next double or anything any method from scanner which are instance methods then you should create object for scanner that is very important then how do you create object it's very simple right first create scanner object scanner space s equal to new scanner of course as scanner you know you should import this scanner without importing you cannot use this except the classes and interfaces are something from lang package if you have any class or interface or you know anything else in other packages other than lang you must import them explicitly do you understand that now only we have exception for lang package so scanner is not in lang it's in util you must import that then only you can create object and call the methods so you create object but scanner accepts a parameter the constructor of scanner accepts one parameter that is what is that system dot in what is that what is that you know you have observed system dot out have you observed system dot out or not? what do you mean by system dot out printing in represents keyboard whatever you input from keyboard it accepts that it by default represents key keyboard you enter something from keyboard it receives that and give it to scanner now scanner will convert that required to the required type because you know in java whatever you input from keyboard is treated as a string that string need to be converted to the required type maybe integer maybe float maybe double and you know that is done by what these respective methods what these methods are doing they get the value from keyboard and convert that and return that to us as per the required form do you understand this now so friends now we have a scanner object with system dot in as a parameter and we have integer here now we should input a value from keyboard before that just give an indication enter some a and then a equal to how do i call which method should i call to input this integer next int method which method you have all the methods with suffix with prefix next and it is something like this next xxx now if i want to input this i should call next int what should i call here the next int so a equal to s dot next it that's it over this method will accept a value from keyboard and convert that to int and initialize to this variable a because whatever you input from keyboard is treated as a string and this method will read that string value string integer what integer and convert that to what type of into type and initialize that to which variable integer variable what variable integer variable. now finally friends print this a system dot out dot print enough a now run this program so run this now you can see the console is prompting us to input a value integer value can you see this now enter some integer 
Then when I enter 10, you can see the value is displayed now. Do you understand this now? Got clarity on this? And this is how you input a value from keyboard dynamically. And you are seeing when I'm executing program, it is asking you to input a value from keyboard. So this is dynamic initialization. Do you understand this friends? Do you understand this or not? Yes, it accepts values from keyboard. That's what, how do you do that? With the help of scanner and methods of, by using methods of scanner. You want clarity on this now? Right, thank you very much. So, hi friends, I hope you understood how to input value from keyboard using scanner. Of course, you can do the same using buffered reader, data input stream. There are so many ways of initializing value from keyboard. But anyhow, the most recommended approach to input a value from keyboard is by using scanner. More than buffer reader or more than data input stream. So, thank you very much for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and please share this video with your friends. Thank you very much.